Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be checking out an electronic drum set that was sent to me. Um, it cost $360 on Amazon, so we're gonna be talking about is this worth it for a practice kit? I'm gonna give you my opinions and ideas. Um, again, so full disclosure, this company did send me this kit for free, although they're not paying me for my opinion um, other than, the, I guess, the price of the kit. Um, and they don't really care what I have to say. If I give my honest, honest review, they're not trying to censor me in any way. So this is the Donner DED200 electric drum set. Again, it's 360 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below and we're gonna dive in and see what we think. So I'm gonna break this down into a couple of different categories. So um, number one is gonna be uh, price, you know, what I think, which obviously it's a very cheap um, compared to for a electronic drum set, 360 bucks is, is super cheap for an electric set. So second thing is gonna be quality. And then third thing is gonna be um, value. So I'm not expecting a ton of high quality. Again, this is a low quality uh, drum set. Um, so my expectation is not extremely high for this. Um, but the value is kind of the really subjective kind of mixture. So the idea is um, the value may be really high even though the quality is kind of low because uh, again, if you're looking for an electronic drum set to practice at home, you may not want to drop a, you know, $1,500, $700, $2,000, a lot of these name brands that are a lot more expensive. So the question is, is it worth it? Is there value to this drum set at this price point? Is it worth it to me? The idea would be as a home practice kit. So that's what we're going to find out. Um, so let's dig into it, see what's in the box. Ugh. All right, instruction manual, five drum three symbol okay all right so we got these different boxes drum pad this says snare so each thing is kind of boxed individually symbol mount box accessories drum pad so i'm going to take a video on my phone to show you what this looks like Here we go, drum pad. Ugh. One hand, squeeze this. Okay, sound module, so this is the brain here. Kick pedal, all right. Symbol pad one. Uh, Hi-hat control, I guess you can read, I don't have to say these to you. Kick drum, and then drum stand. So now I've got this guy all set up and built. So let's talk about um, kind of the build of the drum set first, like the build quality, uh, the pieces of it. Um, and then we can kind of uh, go from there. So, I mean, the truth is the stuff that you would expect to be metal is metal. The stuff that you think would be plastic is plastic. Um, not necessarily any surprises other than maybe um, stuff isn't actually quite as cheap as I was expecting. I mean, the kick um, pedal, it's all, this is all metal in here. You know, I probably would replace the pedal if I was going to use this long term, but this is all metal. Um, the All these rods are metal, plastic joints are plastic. Um, the symbols, interesting note here, the symbols have this, uh, it's kind of angled. I'm not sure if you can see this really well. Let's see. Um, the symbol stand is angled in there. It's kind of like almost beveled. So it kind of points up and then the other side points this way. And it kind of keeps the symbol in this groove. If I can focus on that, it kind of keeps the symbol in that groove. So it kind of helps the symbol stay straight. Um, the pads are what you'd expect on a lower end type kit. They're kind of a, they're more of a tightly woven mesh than maybe like the, you know, I don't want to necessarily compare it to a uh, Roland. Um, and then it's got, um, you know, rubber here. The rubber extends past the plastic a little bit. So it gives you a little bit of a soft edge on the symbols. 
Um, all the drums are the same size. I think the kick is the same size too. It's a little different though. It's metal. It's actually has a metal um, rim where the these have uh, rubber. So the drums are um, the snare is two uh, has two I guess zones trigger zones like probably a better name for that. There's a snare and there's like a cross stick. The hi hat has two zones as well. The cymbals have two zones although it's you know the bell is very small so it's not necessarily uh, you know like the body of the symbol or the bow of the symbol and the bell it's like here is one trigger and then here's a second trigger so like the bell is from like here to here and then the you know the symbol sound is from like here to here so it's not quite as um like distinct because again the bell is really small so it is dual zone um on those as well so i mean honestly it's not bad like it's you know it's a practice electronic kit i have it set up pretty small right i have it pretty tight and compact you can spread it a little bit more um so that's kind of like build pieces. I'm trying to think of anything else that jumps out at me. Um, you know, the weak point obviously is going to be the brain. Um, and I'll talk about the brain a little more in depth as far as some of the setup and everything. But, you know, it's just the sounds are not great at all. They're pretty bad. Um, as far as like if you're comparing it to, um, you know, Roland or some of these big name companies, then the sounds are not going to be, you know, great, amazing drum set sounds. But, you know, do they sound terrible? You know, that's you be the judge of that. Um, so... A um, couple of the build quality things I'm trying to think. Um, something else that stuck out to me. Everything is pretty much what you would expect on a lower end um, electronic kit. Again, this one's even cheaper than a lot of the, the brand names. So I was surprised in the sense that I expected to see some really, really cheap and really poor stuff. But I mean, everything seems to be good so far. I've tightened it all up. I've been kind of mashing on it for probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, so it's all staying together. Now, obviously the longevity of this drum set is gonna be a big question. So I can't answer that right now, but all I can give is my first impression review. So um, I got, again, I got timestamps on the bottom here. So uh, if you wanna hop around this video, you can to different aspects of it. Um, but that's kind of just overall look um, in the first place of what this kit's like. Now I have to say one thing I do owe you guys an apology for is that I um, don't have the kick drum like secured in place just because I'm here on my carpet on my living room. I haven't, I don't want to like get into the floor or anything. So there's a couple things you could do for this. You could actually get a spare piece of carpet, put it down because um, the thing has spikes in the kick drum. So you could secure it really well. I don't think it really would be an issue, but for now I've got it kind of bounced around. So if you hear some double kicks, there's not necessarily a problem with the pad. The pad itself is fine. Um, Yeah, the sensitivity of the pad, there's no problem. Just because it's bouncing around because it's not uh, secured down, you're in some of those double hits. So I know it's probably distracting, sorry, but it's not a issue with the drum set. It's just, I haven't set it up all the way because this is a temporary setup. So sorry about that, but let's continue. Um, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the brain a little bit more, but I've got it running uh, from the audio out into my Zoom handy recorder. Um, it's got a USB out, so it could work as an interface. I'm not sure, I'm gonna try it on my computer a little bit, but. Uh, let me just run through uh, some of the drum sets and kind of show you what the audio sounds like.
Okay, so without going into a huge long thing about the menu, um, basically there's a metronome function, which is great. Um, there's an audio in function, which is great for practicing. There's 16 different drum sets we're going to go through, um, and there's uh, some built-in songs you can play to. I wouldn't recommend them. You can change the sensitivity of every pad. You can change the volume of every pad individually. Um, so in that regard, it you know works pretty well. Um, so the big question is, is it worth it? All right, so first of all, quality, overall quality. Five out of five being um, just incredible quality. Uh, in an objective sense, I would probably give it a two in the sense that there is other things that are, you know, uh, just so much better as far as the pads, the sensitivity level, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're not going to get great sensitivity out of the, you know, the snare and the toms as far as um, a huge range of, of audio, you know, in different levels. But for what this is, um, I'm going to give it like a four out of five in, in quality because it does what I expect it to do. In some ways, it exceeds my expectations as far as the build quality. Again, the stuff that you want to be metal is metal. Everything looks and sounds good. It feels right. Uh, there's no huge deficiency. So in that regard, I think it's fine. Um, so price, I mean, for this, I would say uh, four out of five again. Um, you know, it's not just like crazy cheap, but um, as far as what you're comparing it to, um, it is, uh, you know, it does really good. So, I mean, as far as the expectations, I think it's done really well. Now, um, the biggest question is, should I buy it or who should buy it? Now, people that I think should buy this kit, this will be worth it for you. One, if you have a child that, um, you know, you're trying to get into a drum set, this would be great. Um, you know, everything works fine. It's Everything works great. Like, it's easy to, to figure out. The kick drum, you know, is the thing you have to kind of figure out how to secure it a little bit better than just me having it sitting on the floor. Um, uh, again, the sounds are not premium. You know, they, uh, they could be better, but everything sounds like drums. So if you have a child and you uh, are trying to learn drums and you don't want to get an acoustic kit or you can't get an acoustic kit because of the noise, um, you know, sound wouldn't be uh, feasible, then this could be a great option for you. Um, if you are an adult, if would you get this kit? If you are producing high level stuff, I would say this is not for you. You know, if you want to produce um, content like on YouTube or create with this kit, I would say it's not for you. If you want a practice kit, absolutely. It's a great practice kit. Um, again, the sensitivity is not to the point where it's unusable. You know, I can play it. Um, again, I'll say it's over and over. I got to figure out the kick. I would have to figure out the kick and, and kind of get that worked out. But again, the actual drum itself, the sensitivity is not bad. I would replace the kick pedal, um, you know, with my own pedal. That's probably another big thing is the feel of the kick pedal. Um, so the, uh, the brain... Um, it's got all the things you need. It's got an audio in. Again, it's got USB, which I'm not sure if that's to update it or if you can use it as an interface to record out. But I'm recording out from the um, audio out into an audio interface. So everything you heard is just from my Zoom handy recorder. So that's really simple to use. Um, you know, plug your headphones in. It's really easy. It's got a built-in metronome. So if you want a practice kit, you don't want to break the bank, or you only have you know 300 bucks or so to spend, you don't have a thousand dollars, seven hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, then this could be a great kit for you as well. So. Um, thanks again to the people, uh, I guess Donner um, people uh, that have, have sent this to me. This could be a mispronunciation, but I'm saying Donner. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions about this kit, I haven't done like a, this isn't a huge, extensive, in-depth review walking through everything. But if you have questions about it, let me know. This is my first impressions. Practice kit, you know, would work absolutely fine. Um, one last note, it does not come with the drum throne. So you need to use your own throne. I've got one in the garage, so I just threw it on there. But, um, you know... It's an electric drum kit. It's extremely inexpensive. It's only 350 bucks on Amazon. I got a link in the description below. And um, so yeah, this is the Donner uh, drum set. It uh, you know could be worse in a lot of ways. There's a lot of things that you know I expected to be a, a less quality that was there. Could be worse in many ways. You know, obviously it's not on the level of Roland kits, but I don't think that's that's not the target market. You know, so um, again, appreciate it. the guys for sending me this out. Um, I really appreciate it. It's a, it's a great little practice kit, and uh, you can be the judge. Um, obviously, there's some things that, as a professional drummer, you're going to laugh about. I'm you know, just hearing it and everything. Um, but for a practice kit, hey, I'm going to use it, you know? So, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you want more videos like this, subscribe, comment, the kind of stuff you want to see. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out this channel. If you're new to this channel or you just jumped on this video specifically, um, I've got um, a bunch of drum covers of different gear reviews, all kinds of stuff on my channel. So make sure to subscribe, check it out. Um, also, I'm doing uh, monthly content on Patreon. So if you want to take some drum lessons, you've seen some other covers and you like some of the stuff I'm playing, I'm offering monthly content on Patreon. There's a link to that in the description below as well. I would really appreciate if you checked it out, support me on Patreon, that'd be awesome. Um, but if not, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.